Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to be showing you themed keyboards using iAccess 4. Now you may remember seeing my iAccess 3 video on how to get themed keyboards, but that's pretty much been obsolete ever since iAccess 4 was released. I believe two or three two to three months ago. So I finally got around to doing a video for iAccess 4. Once you have iAccess 4 installed from Cydia, you need to go ahead and install our 30 iAccess 4 keyboards package from our Cydia repo right here. If you don't already have this URL in your Cydia sources area, go ahead and do that and install our package. You must already have iAccess 4 for these to even do anything. If you don't have iAccess 4 installed, these are pretty much useless. Um, if you still happen to have iAccess 3, these do not work. So, you're just stuck with the 12 packages that I made previously. So, once you have iAccess 4 installed and our 30 iAccess 4 keyboards package, just open up iAccess 4, the application, go to keyboard theme, and choose what you would like. Now, I have the crystal red keyboard activated, as you can see right here. This was a really popular keyboard in the 2.0 days, when themed keyboards worked just fine with Winterboard. So, I'm going to go ahead and choose glossy, as an example. You'll get a pop-up telling you how to actually activate it. You just have to go to exit in the upper right, and you need to completely turn your device off and then turn it back on. Just locking it and unlocking it or just doing a respring is not enough. Doing that won't do anything at all. So once you have your device turned back on from the, uh, the reboot, open something with the keyboard, and you may need to tap on the globe in the bottom left for it to be activated. And it should be working. So this is the crystal red keyboard. You can see everything is working. The letters, cap lo caps lock, capital letters, numbers and symbols, things like that. And if you're wondering what this is, this is called QTweeter. It lets you quickly post to Twitter and or Facebook from any application. So if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, complaints, whatever, leave it in the comments section down below for this video, and we'll see you soon.